Thank you, Mr. President. I, I too rise to honor the legacy and the life of Ralph Wilson. Bought the Buffalo Bills in the year that I was born. Uh, and I, I, like many in Western New York, grew up with them. But we have all heard of his accomplishments, uh, and we've heard much of, in the way of the accomplishments of the Buffalo Bills and his commitment to keeping Buffalo in Western New York. We also heard of his involvement in the community, his generosity. There was several paragraphs that listed organization after organization that he was so supportive of, very, very generous, very philanthropic. And we know of this now. People involved in the organizations knew it then, but the people in the community didn't because he helped people very quietly. He did not ask or seek recognition. He lived the life of a good citizen, the type of individual that we all should strive to emulate. I, one of the things that was not uh, listed in the resolution that I would like to point to is uh, during my time as the sheriff of Erie County, I saw firsthand, I engaged with Mr. Wilson on a number of occasions, but he went back to his childhood and his respect for law enforcement. He went back to his days when he was serving his, his country and defending our way of life. But he, he indicated to me on numerous occasions that he really had a special place in his heart for the people that stood up to protect others, police officers across the nation. And he was very, very generous to the numerous law enforcement foundations around Western New York and in Detroit. There's an organization called the 100 Club. And the 100 Club was started years ago in Detroit. It was an organiz organization to help the widows and orphans of law enforcement officers fall in the line of duty. And Ralph Wilson was very integral in its beginning and its growth and was one of the individuals who ultimately helped to bring it to Buffalo. Uh, very simply, he was a very good man. Western New York is suffering a great loss. My prayers, like my colleagues, are with his family and we offer them our condolences. And it really is an honor that we as a body honor his legacy today. Thank you, Mr. President.